Hey y'all, it's Johnny. Today we got the Tansorin LED Zoom 600 lumen tactical waterproof flashlight. The advertisement says something about headlamp, taillight. Uh, I'm thinking they sell bike lights also. But uh, it comes in this little plastic snap case. Not the thickest, most durable hard case, but comparable to like an old school lunchbox, I guess, type thickness. I mean, it'll protect it. It's uh, not too heavy. Foam inlay. Uh, this runs on the 18650 battery. If you all haven't ever seen one of these, give me just a second. Okay. I had to go get something for a comparison. This is a double A battery compared to these 18650s rechargeables. So you kind of get an idea on what size of battery it is. A lot of these flashlights that um, take these 18650s, also uh, you can get an aftermarket, uh, a little holder that takes three AAA batteries, I believe. Three AAAs that go in there will power it the same way. Uh, they won't last as long as the 18650, I don't believe. Uh, but the 1860, 18650s are handy. I have them on numerous flashlights. They charge up well. They last They last a long time. But um, that and the rechargeable, and you're not spending any money. And then you can buy these aftermarket also if you want replacements or extras. So uh, here's the sleeve, which makes it fit tighter inside the flashlight because once you go to that adapter that holds three triple A's it's going to be about this size so you don't want this extra play inside there that's what the sleeves for here's the charger see we got a couple of chargers this flashlight here's a light indicator for the uh, the power outlet for in your car for charging the flashlight there's the red light indicator or if it's powering or not. So you got a car charger. Here's your wall charger. There's an LED indicator. Um, when it's plugged in and the battery's in it and it's red, it's charging. I believe I'm thinking this turns green whenever it's all charged up. It might not. I'll have to look at see if uh, there's instructions with this one, but I know it's red when it's charging. Some of these turn green whenever it's fully charged, but I just leave it on a while and then take it out. Sometimes I'll have it in overnight. And I've never had a problem with leaving them charged. Uh, for you tech savvy people, there's the smart charger info on the back. And here's the flashlight. Uh, this is a push button on the side, not on the rear wrist strap string here's the charge port charging it up that's where the charging jack goes into for the car charger Tansorin it's a uh, four-sided yeah beveled corners rounded corners but four-sided there's your LED lamp did say waterproof, so that's good. There's the zoom. Okay. Uh, not real loose, a little bit of resistance. I like it just about like this. So it's easy to change, but it's not going to change by itself, and it ain't going to change very easily. So there is a little bit of resistance, but it ain't too bad. You know, you can still push it down with your finger. All aluminum. Feels like aluminum constructed body, black. Here's grip. The power button is just a little raised. And then uh, taking the back off. Here's the right here's the rubber gasket you can see at the top of the threads, which keeps it waterproof. Ah, looky here. There's the adapter I was telling you about. Three triple A's will fit in this. Let me see what I was talking about, the extra space. This one's just a little bigger than what that uh, 18650 is. So, there's your AAA adapter. Bonus! Didn't know that was coming with it. 
But let's get our 18650. Usually it's positive in first, negative, flat bottom in back. Get this screwed on. If you ever have a problem with uh, the rubber gasket in there, the waterproof gasket, you can buy those O-rings at any hardware store, um, uh, tractor supplies, what have you. It's just a rubber O-ring. It can be replaced. Three modes, I believe, on this. Yeah, we got... Looks like we have SOS. We have bright, medium, low. So high, medium, low, strobe. Five modes. So you got the SOS on there. So resetting, high, medium, low, strobe, and SOS. Check something real quick. I don't think this has a memory. It just automatically goes back on high. So let's say we're on high. Let me check something. So I'm holding the power in for two, three seconds when I power it off and power it off. Come back on. Is it on high? High? Medium? Nope. Strobe. So it's just going to go through it every time. There's no way to program this. It ain't going to have a memory to stay on high. Um, some of these, if if it sat for a bit, let's just say you're on low now, so next would be strobe. Some of these, if you leave them off for a little bit, it automatically defaults just back to high. So whenever you go to turn this back on, it would be on high. I don't know if this one would be it, if you let it sit for a while or not, but it all switches pretty easy. Okay, about the darkest room I got in the house right now. I'm trying to do this review during the day, so I'm not going to be able to get you a nighttime distance shot, but this is the tight beam. You can see that LED square. That's what those bulbs do. It's a real tight square beam, but it also has the, uh, you see the ring around the square. It also throws light out there, so it fogs out. Now this is pulling the zoom back and it opens it up a lot more. So you can see just how much it fans it out. But it's gonna hold a tight beam for a long distance. I like that. Okay, now if you've never had one of these, uh, with these LED bulbs, these singles, um, if you've just had the older mag lights, uh, rayovac flashlights, old schools, whatever, you're going to be shocked at how tight of a beam these LEDs hold. You're going to be surprised at just how bright they are. You can go out in the middle of the day in the sun and turn these on and you're going to see the beam against your hand. I mean, it's crazy how bright these lights are. But I was real surprised by the first one that I had tried. And this one's constructed really well. I like the tactical uh, thumb switch on the bottom, personally. But these on the side ain't so bad. I mean, they're real handy. They're right there. I always just like the buttons on the bottom for some reason. No particular reason, just personal preference. But looks like a nice one. I like it. Works real well. Nice bright light and everything you get with it. The AAA adapter. Or adapter yeah and uh your charging station you get the 18650 battery with it with some lights don't even come with the batteries and you get a car charger plus in the hard case so all in all for this price it's actually a pretty nice light i'd buy it